Okay, now we're going to go into application with the stick. Professor V and Master House here on high will show you the application of the stick. Same motion, same drills, same movements, poking, fanning, scaling, inner body, upper body, outside scaling, low high combination, triple striking. He's going to put it all into a flowing manner and I'll be back later and put it back into an empty hand version. Okay, so now we're going to go through, we have what we call dimensions, several dimensions. We are going to go through some of the dimensions for you now so you can see what it looks like in application. All right, Professor V, Xi'an Hai, this, number one. First dimension, notice he's cupping the hand. Stick, and the stick is flowing and moving. It's moving very slow for you. It'll show you from different angles so you can see it and you understand. How you come in, notice the footwork, stepping, movement, and striking. Number two, strikes, second angle. You're working off the five angles of attack. Notice you turn the body in, cupping the hand, coming across, hitting the face, scaling up and down the body, inside, outside, fanning, poking. Okay. So watch the flow of the stick. Watch how the stick just flows from one point and bounces to another. Third one, third strike, third angle of attack. Cup in the hand. Once again, moving the body in, step it in, V step it. How you strike in the temple, across the head, nose. Notice the stick that is striking on the temple. Constantly moving from side to side when you're working with a partner. Three strike again. Step it in, cup in the hand. You're always looking for that other hand, always watching out. Number four, switch sides. Cross angle, cross the body. Number four. Notice the body weight. Notice how the body dropped and dipped and the hand came across on top to stop the hand from flowing. After he shocked the man, now he's walking back to the inside to continue his striking pattern. Number four again, from the opposite side. Stop, lock. There you go, shifting. And notice the footwork, he's stepping. Remember the step? He's stepping on impact. Notice that step when he takes that step. Switch it around. Five. Thrust it. Coming in there once again, scaling up and down the body, watching that left hand and striking. Switching. Coming again. Thrusting. Boom. Coming up. Shocking the hand. Scaling up and down the body. Notice the scaling. It works. It's quick. It's fast. It bounces from one point to the other. Take it in. Now we go to another dimension, number seven, which is the butt. So we're going to add now the butt dimension. Number one strike. Now you're going to use the end of the stick. Where he's striking with the end and then using the butt of the stick. Notice how he stepped in, using the butt. Shocking, the butt, hitting. Now to notice how the other hand comes into play now because he came in. He came in, close quarter, professor, switch side. Notice he came in. When he came in, he started to use two hands. Again, number one again with the butt dimension. Striking, shocking the person first, scaling first, now he uses the butt after the man is shot. Turn it from left side, right side, hand, everything is there. Shocking, shins, knees, legs, as soon as the man goes down, you take advantage of anything that you see. Number two, butt dimension. Number two, stepping, shocking, hitting, same thing. Shocking, now watch the butt of the stick. Boom, hit, twirl. Moving. Now you see how he's picking up speed. Moving, shocking the kneecaps, the head, cross. Everything is working. Adding the butt, striking in there. Number two, from the other angle. Okay. Cutting him off. Shocking. Moving in close so you can use the back. Look at the back, how he's skilled with the butt of the stick. Keep it tight with the empty hand. Once again, the knees are available. Always taking the leg out. Hitting the groin. Finishing the man off. Okay. Number two. Now number three, butt dimension. Coming down. When you work in to use the butt, you shock. You got to hit the man several times before you come in to use that. You just don't come in and use that butt dimension. Notice them kneecaps. As soon as that kneecap go up, the man try to roll, turn, hit, you follow him and you finish off. That's an excellent example of what you do to someone who is motioning. He didn't stop and leave him alone and let him walk away. That was number three again, number three from that angle. Number three from that angle again using the butt. Watch the strikes. See how you set him up so you can use the butt. Hit him with the base of the stick underneath the nose. 
There you go. Attacking the groin, attacking the head. Good. Number four. There you go. Scaling again. Hitting, shocking. Boom. Now he's thoroughly shocked. Now you can use the butt of the stick. Notice the movements. See, Professor's 85 years old and he's doing this. 85 years old, no problem. He ain't overexerting himself using the stick, using his hand, putting it all together. You just develop a real nice flow. Number four, on that side, Professor, he also has repeating the process of how he's scaling over and over and over again. You don't try to come out every time and do something different and make up new things. You repeat the process, repeat the process. Something's work, keep it going, but just add to it. That's all we're doing here. We're adding to every time we're striking. Number four from that angle, watch again. How he's just gonna repeat the process, repeat the scaling, come up the shocking, and when he sees the opportunity, now add the button dimension to it. Getting the body turning. He's doing it from different angles so you can see. Notice how he keeps going for the knees. Soon as the man hit the floor, elbows and head. That's what you got to do, striking points. When you see it there, tag it, hit it. Don't go fishing for something right there. Number five. Watch it work. Look at his hand, look at his body flow. How the man is just motioning and moving and you just keep moving the stick, attacking all of the vital areas. The knee come up, bang, knee, take that joint. Shin come up, hit the shin. Hands come up, hit the hand. You block, try to block with his hand, attack it. Number five, last one, number five on this side, using the butt dimension. Sitting, watch him work, watch him flow. Notice it once again, you gotta feel your technique. You gotta put it in there when the man's motioning, when the man's moving. Shocking, hitting, look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the same thing Professor was doing, same thing I showed you before, except using a knife. I'll do the slow motion, show you the flow, okay? Because it doesn't matter if the weapon is bigger or the weapon is smaller, it really doesn't matter. It's how you move and how you come in and take advantage of your distance and your footwork. Striking, I'm gonna be using now what's called the 11th dimension, okay? The 11th dimension is like when you're holding an umbrella. You're walking with an umbrella this way or you may have a cane, and you're holding it this way, you don't have time to go and flip it over. This is where you got caught, how your hand was positioned, how your hand is. So you're taking it from there. Knife fighting is this way, inside. See, the important part of this is because now a knife fighter, person do like this, you don't see the knife when they're talking to you like this. So a guy may be like this. So what's the problem? The knife is there, it's hidden. And this person could just come out and attack you and you don't even know what's happening. So we're going to take it from that point. We're striking, once again, number one, coming in. Notice, coming in, I'm slicing, I'm cutting. As I'm cutting, I'm following right through. Right through, cut. Come back the other way, come back down, come back in. Now I'm doing my poking, striking, hitting, following, crossing. Second angle. Number one again, second angle. Notice, once again, Come in the side, I'm cutting, I'm coming across. Notice when I flow, I come down. Now I can work here, come down. Remember when we worked before, across the leg, up in. Come in, shot. Coming through. Same angle. Number two, cross. Wrist. When from the wrist, he pulls back. Notice he pulls back, boom, I come right across, looping. Now, you can't see this, and I'll show you on the reverse side, but now my poking come into play. When he's poking, I'm poking him. Poking him all in his back, trying. Poking all in his front. Raise the neck. I didn't slice the neck. I used the back of the blade to hit the throat. Hit, bend, stomach. Now poke. Sweep, take the leg out. Here, finish the person off. I'm moving very slow with this so you can see. Motion and movement. Hey. Okay. Number two, again, I came across here. As I came, look, poking, see? Down, hip, back in, raise the head. Like I said, you can hit with the throat. Turn, working, moving, motion and movement. Got what I want. Break the leg. Finish the person off. Do you understand how easy it is now? It's not difficult at all. It's just a matter of body motion and movement. Three. 
cut the distance down. Here. Boom. See? Notice my elbow. My elbow was my shot. Here. Elbow was my shot. Elbow. Now look. Here. Huh. Hit. And it's finished. Through. Add a little judo now. Boom. Hey. Number three. So. Notice how the elbow come up. Now I hook the back of the neck. You see, there's a lot of different variations. I'm not stabbing him now. Psychologically, he thinks he's cut. I'm just taking the back of the blade and pinning it into his neck. He feels pain. It's a submission hole now at this point in time. Now I apply jujitsu by twisting his neck, locking him up. And now here, now I'm holding him. Holding him. See, not all the time everything is kill, 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 kill. Use your common sense. You know, sometimes you just use it as a submission. Here, he thinks he's stabbed. He know at any point in time he could be stabbed. But you don't have to stab. When I use this against the back of his neck like this, and I'm pressing with the base, I'm using the back of the knife. He thinks he's stabbed. He thinks he's hurt. He's not going to give you a hard time from this point on. So when you turn him around, you have him. You learn how to utilize the whole part of the knife, the hand, the weapon, the shotgun. Number four strike. Four strike at the fourth angle, coming this way. Once again, not everything is stabbing him. Not everything is kill, kill, kill. I know if I do this, I'm going to hurt him real bad. Take out a lot of his spirit, kill all his spirit, but I'm not going to kill him. This is an excellent strike for the street people. Excellent. Women, excellent strike. But he will come turn and just boom, right into the inside thigh. That'll take all his spirit, all his fight out of him. When he does that, you stomp, boom, you crack the leg. Knee him in the kneecap. Once again, you come up and you hold him a bait. What do you want? Stop. No need to kill, kill, kill. But once again, the option is there for you. Do other things. Number four again, on the opposite side. So you can see, if I wanted to work the body, work the skills, up. Boom. This is in, look, this is into his sneaker. Cross his ankle. Boom. Into the back of the thigh. Turn him around. Once again, knee into the spine. Bring the head back. I'm ready to do whatever I have to do. I'm ready. It's ready. It's here. He gives me any hassle, boom, forearm into the face. Here, el elbow into the face. Boom, hit, stomp, move, take him out. All the time, you're prepared to do whatever. Now to understand the flow, I'm going to show you how I'm going to come from this to this in a turn and a change. Number five, coming to the inside. Up, cross, 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 hit. Now I turned it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Moving, cut. The twelve strikes, the poking, the fanning, the upper body scaling, here the motion, the bow hand, the tuna while he's striking. That's all that is. I showed you that before. The triple striking, the poking, the fanning, the twelve points. That's all I'm doing. I'm just putting it all together now. And it wouldn't change. If I use a short stick, it wouldn't change. Still, number five. Here, boom, I shot. Hit, 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 hit. Move, shocking, hitting, near. Up, poking, poking, poking. Fanning. Scaling. Here, center while he's striking. Move. <clears throat> it doesn't change. It's nothing magical and mystical I'm doing. I just practice a little bit. I took the time out to practice. That's all this is. It's no magical stuff, just a little bit of practice, the basics. Advanced, oh, I'm an advanced. You're an advanced what? An advanced person is a person who took a little time out to practice. And he wanted it a little bit more than the other person wanted it. What we're going to show now, what we're going to show now, what we're having now, is you're going to see Professor, a smaller person, Master High, a bigger person, with a stick in his hand, Show how he's going to have a stick and a club in his hand, and how Professor moves and puts the honest movements and apply the strikes and the jujitsu and the locks into empty hand against the club. And you'll see this. It's interesting. Okay? From the five basic points of attack. Okay? First point of attack, number one. Attack. Still scale the body. Notice how you lock in. Utilize the finger locks automatically using the stick. Using the floor as a base, got the man in full control. He's trying to squirm, but he's locking him up, lock after lock, with the stick 
Locking it. Notice the finger. Notice the finger lock. There you go. Turn. Now it utilizes the stick to lock the man up. Never, never too much, Professor. Second strike. Notice the high low. Woo, woo, combination. Notice the striking. How you lock him up, punch him, how you striking. Reaching out for the hand. The hand was not there. He went for it because he seen it was a dead hand. Took advantage of it, lock him up. Watch. Get a shot in the finger lock. Now he picked up the stick, using it as leverage, as a brace, to break the, help break the finger and control the man. That is devastating. Shion Hai is Professor V's favorite uki. Tell them that every time I do it, it's different. And, it's, if you notice... It's not it's step by step. If you notice, every time Professor V moves and applies, his technique is slightly different. Because you cannot, against a man this size, prearrange technique. Say, well, this is what you want to do all the time. You take what a guy his size against a man his size give you to work with. You just take it and you work. Okay, now we're going into number three strike. Move up a little bit, Professor, please. Okay. See, he disarmed him after he shot. Lock it, take it in. Notice controlling the fingers, locking the knee out, and choking him out at the same time. Locking out that elbow joint with the stick as the man is down. Right across that elbow. Poking the butt right into the head and finishing him off. You got two more, Shion High. Number four strike. Could you give me number four strike from a, a different angle, please? Turn it around so that you can get you can see the block. Notice where he comes from, right out there. Right into the ribs. Always cranking up. Going into the figure. Now you pick up the stick again. Use it as leverage again, controlling that man, controlling that wrist, working against him, locking out that elbow joint. Man is right there. Pain is never ending. As long as the man keeps squirming, he'll keep squirming. Notice how you take the stick now as he's got him seated up to finish him off, choke him out. Take the top and the stick to choke him out. After you got your man thoroughly shocked, if you have the time, you can get creative. And the last one is number five strike, a stomach, stomach thrust. Notice how now he takes the stick and he's working with the stick. So before, he just stood and combinated into jiu-jitsu. Now he's going into the butt, using judo into the throw, striking in the groin, the kneecaps, shins, elbows, hitting him, beating him, attacking him. 